everybody. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome day, having a great week. Just want to say thank you very much for the support on the channel, all the subscribers, all the good comments. And I want to say a special thank you for the people on Patreon and those who have donated uh, to the funds for the snakes for uh, food and future cages and just their health and well-being. I really, really appreciate that. So thank you very much. And uh, somebody requested they want to see the snow. And then somebody else requested that they want to see the moon glow. So I decided we, I'll just combine the two together and we'll just make one video of them. So this is neither of them, as probably most of you guys know that. So let's look at her really fast because she holds some of the key components onto making the moon glow and the snow. So there's other ways you can go about to making the moons and the snow or in, in the snows. Uh, I don't have any examples of that, so I'm just gonna use her as an example. Uh, there's probably other better ways or cheaper ways. You can always go the expensive way and just buy one moon glow and one snow, or two moon glows or two snows, whatever you like best. Some people like the moons better, some people like the snows better. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So I love ghosts, and I think they're phenomenal. I love the colorations on them, I love the patterns. I love the tails on them. I love the, uh, the speckling, the body uh, pattern on them. And a lot of people overlook them just because they are not the newest multi-gene animal and they're not the flashiest, they're not the darkest. A lot of people are really getting into the IMG stuff and then a lot of people are getting into the VPI stuff. So a lot of the really nice uh, boas are getting overlooked. So she does like I said, hold a lot of the key components into making the snows and the moon glows. Let's talk about that really fast. So, uh, she is a, a ghost is a anatheristic and a hypo. So the anatheristic gene is recessive. And basically what the anery gene does is it strips the pigment of the reds and the pinks and stuff like that on a boa. So the original anery, which I don't have, I don't know why I don't, I mean, they look phenomenal. Looks really cool. It kind of looks like a common boa. Um, I mean, it has better patterns and stuff like that, but where the common boa would have the reds on the tail and on the body, it's basically replaced with black. So they look phenomenal and they look even better when they're added into a bunch of cool stuff. But I, I don't know. I don't know why I don't have one. And I probably should get one. They're not expensive. They're, they're only... I don't know how much they go for. I think they're like $300. But obviously if you get them with a bunch of crazy stuff, they go up in price. But anyways, so she has the anery gene, which you need for the snow and the moon glow. And she's 100% head albino. So getting the heads would be the cheapest way to do it. And you also need the albino. So it's crazy to me that just one gene added, visual gene added into this, turns into something crazy and beautiful. Not saying she's not, it just changes the whole dynamic of the animal in and of itself, but really, really nice patterns on her. So I'll put her back and then we'll go and uh, we'll check out the moon and the, uh, the snow. All right, so we put the ghost away and I think you guys would rather see the snow and the moon glow anyways. So if you get the two ghosts, they're both het for albino, and then you hit on what you really uh, wanted to hit on in the first place on the odds, then you would get uh, the anery and the albino together with a double recessive, you would get the snow. The snow is phenomenal. I love the snows, I love the moon glows as well. So as they're babies, they both kind of look extremely similar to each other. Very white. Um, you can see that the, you can't really see the saddles on him very well, which is a trait um, that we'll look at on the moon glow. And the tail is a little bit whiter on the snow, and it actually has a little bit of a purpley hue to it. Now, they seem to be a lot more purple as babies, but what's really cool is on the snows is when they get older, they change their colors pretty drastically. So the ones that I have seen, um, the body gets very, very vibrant yellow. And then the tail, the tail pattern, and some of the 
um, saddles stay very white. So it's a really cool looking combination, pretty unique. A lot of people don't like the snows because they're not really a fan of the vibrant yellow. So if you're not that into the brighter yellow colors with very nice white patterns on the tail, we can go over to the Moon Glow. And this is with the added hypo. So the Anri, the Albino, and the Hypo was all hit on, on this girl right here. So we can instantly tell that you can see the saddles a lot better. So that's with the Hypo helping out. And then with the, the tail, you can see that it is still white. It's definitely not as white or colorful as uh, his. So it is a little bit difficult to get the shots on these snakes because of the lighting. I mean, they just kind of, I mean, it's hard to get a bright light on a whitish snake, but the eyes on her look phenomenal. I do like the eyes on the snow as well. But so when she gets older, I've seen not too many moon glows as adults. I think I've seen one or two. I saw one that was almost all white and then I saw one that was kind of like a yellowy, creamy color. And then it still had the very white uh, patterns on the tail. And then the, the saddles, you could definitely see still very nicely as she gets older. So it's definitely a whichever one you would prefer. And... I liked both, so I kind of just got both. So this is, this is as a male uh, snow. This could very well go with the ghost and possibly could hit more moons, more, um, more snows, more regular ghosts, uh, something like that. So he will also probably go to the IMG Motley Hypo to, because uh, she is 100% head snow, so she carries the anery and the albino jeans. One thing, though, that people do and are concerned about, and it is noted that um, breeding albino to albino, it really doesn't happen with the VPI stuff or the T-positive stuff, but basically with the call or the uh, sharps, so both of these are, are the call albinos, and... It is a very high possibility, even with visual to visual or head to head and stuff like that, um, is breeding and producing moon glows of regular albinos, snows and stuff like that. Anything that has an albino trait is um, a one eye snake or a snake that has a bug eye, which will lose the eye after a couple sheds. Most of the time, I do believe it's only the right eye, which is kind of weird. But that's why a lot of people say you should never do albino to albino because it is a thing that could definitely potentially um, give you snakes with uh, deformities. So I've heard of people having 10 albino snakes um, that have deformities as babies. So you have to think about that as a breeder. You can keep them. Uh, and, and keep them as breeders or you can sell them off at a huge loss. Some people do like to have them because it is deformity. It does make them unique. Um, but you do have to be aware that like as a breeder, I'm not a breeder, but what are you going to do with even five snakes that are, that have a deformity? Um, so then you just have to be prepared for something like that to go wrong with adding albino to albino. So a lot of people say stay away from it, but if people you know, didn't play risky with it, then we would not have snakes uh, like these because people would play it safe and we would never have the opportunity to have really awesome, beautiful morphs. Obviously, these are never, ever found out in the wild, but people have played with the genes, which is really crazy, um, and hit really awesome stuff. So, again, hopefully you guys like that. Hopefully you guys like seeing the moon and the snow. One last look at them. And thank you guys for the support again. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic rest of the day or evening. And I'll see you guys on the next video.